As a, as a creative reuse center or, or arts and craft thrift store, NAC is the place to bring your unwanted arts and craft supplies or anything clean and reusable that could become something else. My job is to curate the stuff to either decide whether it's best to keep in the studio or to resell to others at a very reasonable price. There's also the crafting studio that I just mentioned is available anytime the store is open for people to come in and make stuff using donated arts and craft supplies. And I also feature some consigned goods, stuff that people has, have made from other stuff, like bicycle caps made of wool pants from the thrift, from another thrift store, and the brim is made of yogurt containers. I loved this business the moment I came back to East Hampton, uh, where I, I lived in New York City for many years, moved back to my hometown of East Hampton to take care of my father before he passed away. I became friends with the owners and volunteered here, and when I needed a job, it coincided with the time that they were looking to move to their next venture in life. So just it's a pure uh, labor of love kind of business. You have to love creativity and the repurposing of, of other stuff. And, and that's what drew me to it and what keeps me going day to day. The sheer joy of seeing children being creative with very simple objects, the, to have them unplugged from their electronics or other distractions and making stuff by hand and using their creativity really inspires me. The way that I set the store up hopefully leads people to have some creative discoveries of their own as they shop. It's a slow shopping, experiential kind of thing. It can be the type of store you make a quick beeline into to say, do you have some safety pins, a ruler, and play money? or checkers or something, you know, my kid wants to build a game. But the other kind of shopping where one decides just to browse and browse and see what connections can be made between the stuff, maybe relating it back to a project one has conceived of at home. Uh, it, it's, it's really great to see customers having that type of shopping experience in a day and age when we tend to often just sit at home, uh, type in a few keywords, order and have it delivered to the house. This is the antithesis of that type of shopping experience. I'd like to share with, with people the idea that, that there's, there's potential in any object to be recreated into something else. Um, also to emphasize the community aspect of the store. Although I'm a for-profit business, I'm the sole proprietor. Um, I work six days a week trying to get this message out to people of creativity and reuse. And I take donations of, of clean, reusable stuff from anyone in the community who's willing to bring it by. And I invite people to do that to, um, to um, extend the life of all the stuff they've bought and not used. And also to come here and, and try one's hand at making stuff because I have a fully equipped studio here where we can also have gatherings like parties. You don't need to have a, a craft room at home if you, if you take advantage of coming to NAC and, or you can have a craft room at home, but it's like um, when, a, when you bring a child to a, playmate, a new playmate's house, it's like having a whole new set of toys. That's what I like to think of my, my store as, a whole new set of toys.